coming up on today's episode of the AMA Drone Report. Lockheed Martin and Drone Racing League announced AI Robotic Racing Circuit champions. UK dog owners are told to be aware of drones, and a news helicopter crew believes their aircraft was struck by a drone. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. Lockheed Martin and the Drone Racing League named Team MavLab as the winning Alpha Pilot team of the 2019 Artificial Intelligence Robotic Racing Circuit. The announcement was made during Friday night's AIRR Championship, and the team took home a $1 million cash prize after their drone autonomously zipped through the track at a top finishing time of 12 seconds, 25% faster than the second place drone. The championship, which took place at the Austin American Statesman in Texas, marked the final race of the four-event series that aims to advance the development and testing of fully autonomous drone technologies for real-world applications. Nine international Alpha Pilot teams of students, engineers, and programmers competed in AIRR by developing AI that could autonomously pilot standard custom-built DRL Racer AI drones the fastest. Teams deployed their code on the drone's powerful AI at the Edge compute platform, the NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier, and watched from afar as the robots flew through large-scale gates. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for today's Drone Minute. To advance public safety on the largest segment of drone operations, the FAA announced the organization selected to advise the agency in developing test administration requirements for the Recreational UAS Aeronautical Knowledge and Safety Test. A law passed in 2018 requires recreational drone flyers pass an online aeronautical knowledge and safety test and carry proof of passage with them while operating a drone. There are more than 1 million FAA-registered recreational drone flyers. According to a Hawthorne Group poll commissioned from Target Points, 68% of Americans are concerned about safety in drones, while only 7% are not concerned at all. 82% of Americans believe commercial drones used for small-scale and cargo deliveries will cause a serious accident sooner or later. 71% have privacy concerns, and 93% want some sort of regulation on drones. However, 70% of Americans expect drones to begin home deliveries within the next 5 to 10 years. The National Science Foundation awarded a $1.49 million grant to Oklahoma State University's Soaring Drone Program as part of its National Robotics Initiative 2.0 program. The only grant of its kind awarded in Oklahoma will fund research that will use drone technology to estimate wind conditions in differing environments. The Air Force Academy brought a cutting-edge multi-drone light show to its campus last month to celebrate its storied rivalry with West Point. As hundreds of drones moved in synchronization to delight the audience with messages like, Be Army, the six-minute display showed how far unmanned aerial systems have come since Civil War era balloons and what's possible. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Dog owners in the UK are being warned to be on the lookout for drones over their properties after a rare liver and white Dalmatian dog was stolen from a home in Leicestershire. The dog and its bed went missing from the kitchen on December 1st from the home of Chloe Hopkins. Earlier that day, Chloe's mother, Gemma, said she had seen a drone flying over her garden. The thieves apparently entered through a structure attached to the home. Gemma Hopkins said they live in a small community and is sure it was not one of her neighbors flying the drone. The thieves likely used the aircraft to check the property, looking for an opportunity to steal the dog. Dog thefts are reportedly on the rise in the UK, and drones are apparently the latest high-tech tool that not only dog nappers, but other thieves are using. 
The crew of the KABC Air 7 HD news gathering helicopter made an emergency landing last Thursday after something struck the helicopter's tail. And while no physical or visual evidence has been confirmed, the crew believes it was a drone that damaged the news helicopter. The helicopter was flying at an altitude of about 1,100 feet when the crew heard a pop, then a loud bang. Reporter Chris Christie told KABC at the time they did not know what hit them. However, after inspecting the damage, the crew said there was a possibility it could have been a drone. Christie also said the pilot had seen a flash of light, which could have been the red and green navigational lights on a drone. Whatever it was left a significant gouge on the horizontal stab of the helicopter, as well as a series of dents and scratches on other places of the aircraft. Thankfully, whatever caused the damage missed the tail rotor. The incident remains under investigation. And that's it for this week's AMA Drone Report. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. I'll see you tomorrow to wrap up the week with an episode of Airborne Unlimited.